What's going on everybody? I'm Aaron Seipel, Sports Information Director at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and I am here to premiere our newest video series called Out the Nest. A little breakdown of what Out the Nest is. Um, we reached out to some of Embry-Riddle's greatest uh, former student athletes and asked them to put together a little video, a life update if you will, uh, as to what they're doing in the real world. Um, our first guest on the show is the big man, Calvin Carmichael of Embry-Riddle Men's Basketball. Uh, Cal was a part of the first four-year graduating class on the basketball team and is the all-time leader in block shots. Uh, you'll hear a little bit more about him uh, just in a second. So uh, with that, let's give it right over to Cal. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm Calvin Carmichael. I'm going to be doing this alumni questionnaire. Um, I guess I'm, I'm uploading the video. So uh, I'm Cal. I'm in my workspace right now. I'm at my desk. Um, so there it is. Yes, I did. Um, I graduated in 2019. Snapchat Big Cal 33. Who said that? I played men's basketball. Like I said, I played from 2015 to 2019. I was not allowed to play other sports uh, collegiately, but um, I did play spike ball. I was in, and come on, I played. Um, I, I was bad at sand volleyball, and then uh, I played soccer, and I'm pretty sure I scored uh, two own goals. So obviously, basketball was a sport for me. Uh, position, uh, center, forward, weight class, heavy, event, buckets. So uh, I majored in space physics, and then I had a minor in mathematics uh, while I was at Embry Riddle. You know, you gotta you gotta start with freshman year, when every morning uh, <laughs> Logan Skirtle would walk through the um, the freshman. Uh, the, we left the um, <laughs> we left that room. Uh, that no one sleeps in, like that family room type of living room. We always left that door open. Logan would always come through there, come through my door, wake me up, and then we'd go to breakfast. That was probably, that. I, I won't lie, that was probably one of the most fond memories I've had at Ember Riddle, and that was, I mean, that was every single morning. That was such a fun time. Everything else, I mean, it comes, it comes to the team. You know, uh, we have an immaculate group. Uh, just, just the, the, most diverse group of talents and personalities and humors and it is just so refreshing to talk to everyone on the team because uh, no matter who you talk to you're getting a different you're getting a different view and perspective and uh, that's something that I look back on and I still uh, love uh, very much because I mean you still talk to them and you know but my some of my some of those memories really come down to I, I, you know, the, just the people you experience. It's college. That's what it's about. Um, I also like going through some of the classes that I went through at Ember Riddle, like getting through optics and getting through linear algebra two, all the poon classes, like you know, just the hard hitters. We all know them. Um, <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed how I how I got through college. I enjoyed my experience. And I wouldn't trade it for anything, but if I could do it again, I'd probably go for baseball or, you know, I'm, I'm so bad at soccer, I can't even say it, but I, I'd probably go for baseball uh, as a sport, and then academically I'd either change to a math major or I would go to a chemistry major. Maybe try and learn a different language, but I'm not, I, I was awful with Spanish already, so probably won't do too well with Chinese. Yes, I did. I got, um, I, I guess Dean's List and Honors List counts, so. Ah, check it out. I'm coming to you live out of the nest in Waco, Texas. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing my education out here in, uh, in Texas. I go to Baylor. Um, I'm, a, I'm a graduate student. I'm trying to get my PhD in physics. And the way you do that is that you apply here, 
they're like, hey, you got to teach classes and then take classes, and then that's what you do. And your whole first semester, you get screwed. And then, <laughs> and then the, uh, the second year gets there, and then uh, you're a bit better off. So currently, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching, and I'm taking classes, and I'm currently in finals. So, uh, you know, good luck to everyone, uh, you know, and wish me some too. I need it. So currently, I, I, I'm with a group called the Dusty Plasma Group. What they do is uh, they work with NASA, and NASA wants to go back to the moon. So what's on the moon is lunar dust, and lunar dust is really, really small, and it's really fine, and it's also really sharp. And the problem with this is that uh, when you when you've got something so fine, it's like talcum powder. Apparently, is how uh, is how some of the astronauts have described it. So when you've got something that fine and it gets into these cracks of your suits in your in your spacesuit, uh, it's so sharp that it'll cut through it like paper. So the you can't have your spacesuit getting depressurized while you're out there. And these astronauts they get covered in this dust like every time that they go out there. So. My job is to find a way to mitigate that dust through the use of plasma, which is, yeah, you know, a gas with a current through or whatever. Imagine yourself, imagine yourself, here with me. So, uh, 5.45 a.m., you wake up, you go to the gym, you run there, you work out, and then uh, you, go to, uh, you come back here, you take a shower, you uh, pack up your lunch, and then you go straight to the BSB. Once you're at the BSB, the Baylor Science Building, then you start, uh, you know, you take classes, you teach classes, you do homework, and uh, you procrastinate, uh, especially the last one. <laughs> the thing is that in grad school, you always have something to do. There is never a point where you're like, ah, yeah, I'm done with everything. No, that's just, that's just not how it goes until you're, uh, until you're working on your dissertation. So, uh, it, it, the, the point at which you figure out I'm done and you know you, you, you've done enough for the day that's an important point to figure out when you get there and um, you know how to utilize that so you don't fall behind um, now however once uh, <laughs> a typical day I get up grade papers take tests do assignments I mean I do everything from my desk right here so it is what it is, you know, I, I take walks, I, I do runs, um, I, I try to do at-home workouts, because all the gyms are closed, so there's <laughs> there's just, you know, it's, it, it is what it is now, but um, definitely preferred the four times. Right back to school. So, uh, one of the best things about what you do, it's free. I found a bunch of friends that I, I really enjoy talking to, they're well endowed uh, mentally. And they uh, each each of them brings something new to the table, and I really enjoy spending time with them. So uh, obviously now I can. Everyone's moved back to their home state, and ever, since everything's online now, it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I mean that's 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 a big part. Uh, I I don't think I could do this program without uh, friends in it with me. So i mean it's long days you know it, it's what you would expect it's hard it's grad school Ooh. so uh... let's imagine for a second that someone actually wants to do space physics and basketball again or any sport for that matter um, i would say that college is a time to experience yourself to have fun and uh... mature as a person also, it is a time to buckle down and to give your 100% effort into everything you do every day, especially when someone's paying you to go there. So, uh, you know, give every single day in practice, every game, every um, every workout, uh, you know, every every morning. You know, when you're when you're going to lift or whatever, you know, you you got to put in all your effort and uh, to be the best person you can be. And the same goes for your academics. The same goes for your uh, for your social life. You just want to, you know, just maximize who you are as a person. So I play harmonica. Um, I'm not going to play it. I, I game. I uh, I read. You know. I cook. I'm I love cooking. Um, <laughs> that's another thing. If you want to add me on Snap, you know I got that cooking with Cal channel. Uh, 
We, we got canceled after three episodes, but that's because of excessive uh, profanity instead of it actually being bad content. So if you guys want to see it, you know you know where to hit it up. Um, if you have any other questions, you know uh, how to reach me too. Um, you know other hobbies. Shoot, I love to read. I mean, you know, I like I, I like drawing. I'm I'm getting into art now. There's not really many hobbies that you can develop while you're also studying, uh, because you want to set your your the majority of your power to to trying to you know do well on these assignments and understand. But I imagine that once I get uh, more free time, I'll be able to expand my horizons and do some cool stuff. Let me let me give some shout outs. You know. Uh, <laughs> Stan, Tiffany, Monica, I wouldn't be able to walk without the training room. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't have made it through my first year without the training room, so thanks to you guys. You're always in my heart. You're always the best. Um, everyone else that I saw in there, um, all the other athletes, uh, you know, the women's soccer team, you guys, I, I mean, they played sports with the men's basketball team like three times or something. Those, those, those are super fun. Um, you know, I just want to thank all the other teams, all the other coaches, everybody in the athletic department. Um, you know, it starts from the top down, you know, athletic director all the way down to, um, I mean, whoever's down there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, thanks to everyone. You know, Aaron, you've been doing a, a great job, I can tell. Uh, I'm excited to watch the Eagles, you know succeed and keep going forward I hope to remain an active uh, fan now <laughs> so so thank you Cal for uh, joining us on our first episode it's exciting to see you doing well in Waco and um, any other uh, alumni watching at home or wherever you are uh, if you'd like to be featured in a future episode please reach out DM us uh, email us um, you'll see the social media handles below, uh, but reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and love to feature you on a future episode. Um, so with that, um, remember to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, follow us if you're on a, a social media platform, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.